Yeah, what's up, diggers? Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm back on the field where I found the uh, bullhead sixpence last episode. Um, I want to get this done before the grass gets too long again. I'm using 7 kilohertz. I'm using the 13 inch coil, my favourite. And uh, I'll see you in a minute when I find anything. <laughs> First find is a, um, a post office bag seal. No, it was a terrible signal actually. I thought it was going to be iron, but I'm digging everything because I've done this field a few times now. And if it's if I think it's definitely not iron, I'm digging it. I'll clean it up, and if it's got like a, a name on anything, I'll show you a picture. Just got my first coin. I think it's a green one though. Yeah, is it better in the light or not in the light? Oh god, I don't know. All oh, right, looks like a half penny. It is shot, but if I can get anything off it, I'll show you a picture. Are you gonna focus just before we go? No, thanks, camera. Yeah, another bag seal. Um, this one's even got a GPO, General Post Office, on the top there. You probably can't see. Uh, but I'll clean it up. I'll show you a picture because it's got some numbers or something on the back. So it might mean something. might be interesting. It's not exactly uh, bullhead, but it's uh, better than a slap around the face. Right, let's carry on. Right, I've given that a clean. And I, I think that says Bovril in the middle. <laughs> And on the back it says um, something like than meat texture, maybe better than meat texture or something like that. All right, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not. It's it's in, it could be interesting. I'll do some research. I'll show you a picture, but it looks like it's like 1940s or something. All right, let's carry on. <laughs> Right, hi guys. I've been digging up such a load of rubbish because I've just been digging everything, but I think I've just found a, like a, a silver pendant, I think. Um, I just saw it poking out here. I don't know if you can see it. Could it be? Well, I'll just turn you around and we'll have a closer look. I'm not really sure. Hang on. Okay. I don't know if you can see that or if it's just overexposed, but it says Roy Shaw on it, and it, I guess it's an address or something. I'm pretty sure that's silver. It's got a little bit of weight to it considering how thin it is. Absolutely crap signal. Um, yeah, I'll clean it up and um, take like a close up macro picture of it so you can see what it is. But I'm guessing it's some sort of. Um, uh, tag with someone's address on I found something similar before and it had someone's address on in Leeds um, and that was made of silver so uh, yeah I don't mind that at all right let's go for a bit longer Okay, this is a bit of a scratchy signal as well, but I dug it because I'm digging everything. And I think it might be a miner's token. It's got some writing around the side. There's something in the middle there. Yeah, I'll have to clean that up because it looks a bit battered. I'll show you a picture. Uh, something small down here. I can't tell you what it is. I think it's not silver, it's sort of brown. Um, is that a number on there or something? 31? 
No, three pence. Well, 3D, three pence. So it's obviously some sort of token at some point. Right, I'll show you a picture. But I don't think there's much on that apart from 3D. Uh, right, let's go. Okay, so I've just had this up. It was a nice signal one way, but um, not the other way, so there was nothing. But I don't know if you can see it, it's tiny. But it would have been a part of um, uh, your uniform, World War I, World War II, World War II era. And um, that was part of the name of a regiment, and it would go on the shoulder. I'll um, try and find a picture of a, a whole one and um, find out what they're called. I can't remember, it's a sign or something. Um, but yeah, leave it with me, I'll come back to you and you'll see... Uh, a picture of what it would have looked like in um, in better days. All right, so this was, a, I think it was giving me like an 84 or something like that. It was a high signal one way and then you go around the whole other ways and it was just, there was just nothing there. So we're digging everything. Um, I think I saw something, let me just get where it is again. Oh, there it is. Oh. It's, uh, looks like it could be a brooch, hang on. Get a brush out. Good. Oh God. Is that an M and an O? I don't. It's not silver, obviously, because it's orange. So it's uh, some sort of copper or brass alloy. But it definitely used to be something. Oh, that looks interesting. Right, I'm not going to try and straighten it up out here because it's too cold and it'll just snap probably. I'll warm it up and uh, then I'll bend it back into place. It should bend without breaking. But that could be interesting. It's not military, it's too fancy. So I reckon that looks like sort of Art Deco style 1930s. But I'll, uh, I'll show you a picture. All right, that's all right. Okay, so I've just had this. 85, it was giving me like a 91 in the hole. Just flipped it out and there's something on the corner there. Quite a nice line. Let's see what it is. Oh, yes, baby. You know what that looks like? That edge there. I'll look them up if it's not, but I think that's silver. Let's get it out. Tiny, whatever it is. So I'm using 7 kilohertz today. I wanted a bit of depth, and um, I, I don't believe that the lower frequencies don't find small stuff, and I, that is just proving it. That is definitely silver. I don't know what it is yet. It looks like a thrifty bit. Is that Vicky? Right, I'm just gonna get my brush out. I'll give it a clean up. I'll come back to you. Right, so I've just given this a spray with my water bottle. You can see a three there, so it's a thrifty bit. Oh, it's George V. That'd be 1924. It won't be full silver, it'll be 50%, because it's after 1920, but I don't think I've got one of them, so pretty happy with that, actually. It was an okay signal, but you could tell it was something little, and it, the signal weren't all the way around the hole. Yeah, that's de decent condition, too. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. Yes, mate.
So I've just had this. It's giving me a 69 now, but it was in, I think it was like the 80s, wasn't it? I can't remember, Gabriella, do you remember? 93. 93. So the, the line looks good. It's going from the bottom left to the top right. But you can also tell there's a little bit of an iron grunt there. Let's have a look. Use that bit there. I can see a shank, so it's a button. Let's have a look. That doesn't look like a blank button to me. That looks like it's got something on it. Ah, uh, yeah. So that's got the. Um, I just turned it around for you. The unicorn there, line there. That is a um, general service military button, probably off a um, probably a, off a cuff because it's not like a full uh, large button. But that's all right. That that buff up quite nice. I'll show you a picture. Okay, so um, just add this up. It's really deep. Well, it was really deep. We've got it out now, but that's like seven inches or so. Fairly strong signal in the high 80s. I think it was. Looks like another badge. Uh, button, sorry. Let's give it a wipe because I think that's another military one. It's always nice to know what they are. I think it might be just another general service one. Yeah, a bit battered, but I can see the um, unicorn and the lion. I think, well, I'm not sure. I'll clean that up at home and I'll show you a picture. Yeah, thanks for watching guys. That's two days of uh, metal detecting some decent stuff come up actually quite pleased with that a couple of silvers um, so thanks for watching give it a like subscribe and uh, thanks to my little camera girl today she's done great hopefully the second half will be in better focus than the first because I'm crap at focusing right if you're out good luck I'll see you later